So I'm finally back in the car, ready to go home. That has been a very full on weekend in Edinburgh and I'm about ready to go home, have a cup of tea, have a shower and go to bed. Good morning, happy Monday. It's nice to be back. <laughs> I'm, that's right. I currently started to work at 5am so I'm a little bit knackered. I had a really good plan today out with a colleague. However, we have points failures everywhere. So I have been tasked with a trip to Greg's, which I'm okay about because I need another coffee. And um, it's basically, I'll see where I end up today. Probably stranded here for the next few hours. But yeah, Greg's is calling. Goods have been secured. Good evening. Still Monday. I am absolutely shattered. I got home at half past three. I actually don't know what happened. I think where I've been so exhausted from the weekend, I must have closed my eyes. I mean, I definitely closed my eyes and woke up at five o'clock thinking, where am I? What day? what day is it? And I have a waxing appointment at six. So that's interesting. Like this is too much information, but have a shower, get yourself prepared because there's nothing worse going to any appointment feeling dirty so yeah I had a quick freshen up and I'm in the car dashing to my appointment obviously not breaking any speed limits I could have slept through that appointment <laughs> I don't, honestly I don't know where my brain's at at the minute I've been really productive at work today as well albeit I I had to stop myself having a third coffee. It was that bad. I had two coffees, really strong coffees, let me tell you, to try and keep myself awake. Then we had major disruption on the network, which potentially could have seen myself and colleagues stranded for hours. But we managed to, I don't know what we, how we managed it, but we actually managed to do quite a few bits of what we actually wanted to do, which is always a bonus. Um, my final exam is really closing in on me now just needed to get the hen weekend out of the way and I'm panicking a little bit I would really like the week before or two weeks before to keep my head in the books practical stuff's fine but I have like a question and answers to do. And at the minute I'm so exhausted. I'm coming home and I'm trying to look at some revision stuff and it's just, just not sinking in. I need to sort this out. So it's gonna involve, I think, a few late days at work in order for me to get the stuff that I need doing finished to allow me to have some days to put my head in a book. I have a study day on the first, like the third, third of April, which will help, but it's not obviously gonna remind me of everything that I need to learn. So I'm, a, I'm starting to panic. Don't panic, Laura, it will all be fine. So if I start panicking, I go into the stupid self-doubt scenario where I don't feel that I'm good enough to do it and I need to stay away from that mindset. I'm getting too old to be silly about things. I will be fine. I just need to dedicate some like half days to work. So I'm gonna have to smash out some full days. Like tomorrow's gonna be very full on, I think. I've got a plan in my head and I need to stick to it. And I think it's gonna be regardless 
of timing so I just need to get it done. I think what I just need to do is crack on tomorrow, see how long I can actually last before I'm completely shattered and no more information sinks in. I'm debating how early to start work tomorrow, whether it's going to be the first train or drive in to work to get the first train in order to complete some of this outstanding work that I need to get done. It's a bit like coursework is what I'm getting at and I've got what I think is quite a lot left to do. I'm told obviously don't panic, you'll be fine, but I don't want to be doing the coursework up until the weekend before my major exam because I want to get my heads in the books. Oh, it's just frustrating. Just frustrating. So, um, let's just let this jog, up, jog across the road. I don't think she was going to stop anyway, but okay. Oh, stop worrying about work. Tomorrow's another day. So I'm going to quickly go and get waxed. That's how it goes. And get home, have a jacket potato, baked beans and cheese with salad because I am craving it. Then I'm going to quickly get myself upstairs, showered, bed. Because you have to have another shower to get the wax off that is stuck down there. Girls, you know what I mean. If you get hot waxed, you know what I mean. So I shall see you all when it's done. See you later. When you go to your therapist wearing your Crocs. <coughs> she wants to think I'm a right weirdo. Right, home for Jack and Potato. Good evening all. When you've done ten and a half hours at work, you've come home, it's just you. How do people cook? I'm sitting here with a bowl of cereal. I'm gonna have this and I think I am going to bed. It's not happy Wednesday. I'm exhausted and I am in work for four forty AM tomorrow. So yeah, no con hardly any content for me today. I have been so busy at work. And I'm too exhausted to cook and all I need is my bed. So Alfie seemed to have had a better dinner than I did with his salmon and what did he have? Salmon with prawns. Just had a shower, wash my hair, come down to feed Alfie and eat this and then I'm off to bed. So this is Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, happy Thursday evening. Had a shower in my pyjamas, in my snuggie. Can't even be bothered to take my makeup off by the looks of it. Um, I'm sitting on the floor and I just can't be bothered. I've got no energy to get up unless that doorbell goes because I have ordered myself a Rustico pizza, garlic bread, garlic mayo, chips and a Coke. Please no one remind me that I have a wedding to attend in three weeks. Today was another long shift. It was ten and a half hours yesterday by the time I got everything finished. And I was in the mindset today that whatever went wrong on the trains today, I would get it done. That I did get it done. Yes, Alfie, I did. And I think we were looking at another six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, ten hours. I did ten and a half yesterday, ten hours today. Just needed to get it done, and that's what I did. We did have our obstacles. We had trees down on the track, so I had to change my plans, which set me back. A few minutes, Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he isn't very happy that he gets left for that long. But what can you do? I needed to get it done because we now have um, Easter weekend. They claim tonight it's going to be 60 mile an hour winds. Didn't hear anything about the bad weather last night. I woke up and we had flooding. I must have drifted off to sleep last night. What? Just before 8pm? I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay awake any longer. Had my bowl of cereal and off I went to bed. I'm off now for my long weekend and it just happens to be Easter weekend. So I haven't had to take any annual leave. Going out for dinner on Sunday with Jenny, who is my sister, her fiancé Carl, my mum, Dom and myself to actually quite a nice pub. And it's normally fully booked, but we managed to get a 3.30 slot. I mean, look at that food. I uh, couldn't find the menu. That's the pub. We do ploughmans. What's that? Chicken wings, chips, kebabs, desserts. Now this is the best chicken, ham and leek pie I've ever tasted. Homemade, you get the veg, you can have mash or you can have like pub chips. Oh, look at those chips. Oh, this is scampi and chips. This is what happens when you're really hungry and you start looking at food. I could eat all of that. I mean, I would regret it afterwards. Their desserts, sit outside in the summertime. I mean, this weather needs to change. Camembert, ham, eggs and chips, burgers, quiches. Yeah, so they do um, steak and ale pie as well. You can have mash chips if you want baked beans with stuff. You can have baked beans, their roast dinner. Oh, look at that. Look at that food. Oh, yummy. So, yeah, we're going there on Sunday. I'm just killing time now because I'm waiting for my pizza order and I am hungry now. Evening out. Can we just appreciate this is actually just for me? Um, it's a little bit delayed. Like, it's potentially well over an hour late. So, they upgraded my garlic bread. I think they feel a little bit guilty. So I've got pizza, that's actually a garlic bread, and I should have some fries and a Coke. Do we eat, Alfie? Do you want to eat? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're going to be long enough to hear me with the rain. Go, go, Pops! Come on! Come on! Okay. <coughs> Coco, it's fine. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Hi. I'd like to trot back up the path just to get this negative energy out of her. Yeah. Yeah. Claire, are you up? I just, I've got to get her out of this hole. Everything's really. <laughs> She goes even past us. <laughs> I ride, I ride long.
very controlled. I'm very impressed with this little trot coaster. It's a bit short. You were just running. <laughs> Love the fact he's following you in. It's very cute. <laughs> For our sins, we've come into Sainsbury's to get some food. Look what I've just found. Cracking Good Egg Panna Cotta Limited Edition. So this this egg will uh, wobble on a plate. That's probably cool, isn't it? How much was our shopping? Why are you still eating food? This is what happens when you come shopping when you're uh, hungry. He's already checking into some mango, red chilli, chutney. Good job. It was £70 and we bought the majority of the crap. £70 and um, rubbish. Okay. Well, there's some eggs and I'll see some bread and egg potato. Okay, so we can make an omelette. Forget, forget the uh, popcorn and the Doritos. But and the pick and mix. <laughs> and the pick and mix that cost me £6. Pounds. I'm just pleased it's a nice day because it wasn't meant to be a nice day, was it? It's meant to be rubbish. Never gonna record you to laugh. Do you know how slippy this is, Coco Pops? I'll just eat. <laughs> now, if you can eat with your bum into the uh, wall, that'd be fab. Just climb up her neck. You know that thing where they like to sit on their head? Why are you recording me? I'm getting stretched. I'm just taking a parcel back to the post office before they close at one. It's a lovely Saturday morning. So much so, I think I could probably get the washing out today. But I look like death. I'm absolutely exhausted and I don't know why. So let me go and take this parcel back. If there's an ice bunny in truffles, it's mine. It has my name on it today. People are mowing their lawns as it's nice weather. Oh, loads of people are out because it's bank holiday weekend. So let's see how busy the town is. Hiya. Um, can I have two, uh, two ice buns, please? Iced buns. And do you have any crusty rolls left in that basket? Can I have four, please? Thank you. Good evening. It's now Sunday afternoon and I'm desperately editing, ready to get this up and uploaded for you hopefully by 7 p.m we shall see i thought i had recorded um my truffles trip so you've got a bit of footage of the pavement and then me not showing you that i did come home with the goods with ice buns and rolls for lunch that our saturday afternoon it was really lovely and sunny so i went and sat outside with Alfie because he's supervised at the minute because he's still got that wound like it's been weeks now it is slowly closing up but we don't leave him outside for too long put some washing out got the washing dry first lot of washing to go on the washing line outside this year so that's going to save me a fortune with a tumble dryer and I've just come back from Sunday lunch which you'll all see in next week's vlog so if you do enjoy these vlogs and you have got this far, please do like and subscribe and feel free to comment. I do like looking at the comments. It keeps me going for the next week. So this is week 13. That's 13 weeks so far and I haven't missed one yet. 
So here's to this week and I shall see you all next week. Have a lovely Sunday.